Hello, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are going to be doing my designer sunglasses collection. I have a few pieces here that I have on rotation, so I decided to share them with you guys. I was at the Hermes store and I got my Balenciagas. It's actually crazy because before this collection, I wasn't really super, super into sunglasses, but I just find them so fun and they make outfits so much more interesting. Accessorizing really is it sometimes, especially for simple outfits. Saint Laurent. I have these, I know the name of these still, the Lulu Heart Sunglasses. Um, I find these so intriguing to look at and they're definitely more of like a stylized piece rather than protect your eyes from the sun and the uv rays it's meant to sit lower on like your nose bridge and yeah i usually will have it below my eyes when you wear it up high on your nose bridge it just looks kind of odd to me pretty much a majority of it is just like this black metal frame and then it features the like kind of exaggerated sharp heart um detail for the lenses and there's no frame around the lens when i put these out i'm just like i don't know how to act when i put these no i do know how to act i like i'm pretty like low-key it's funny i feel like all of these sunglasses give me like some sort of different characteristic with these ones we are just like kind of like a low-key vibe like if you know what these sunglasses are you know you know I think they're really sick and I'm glad I picked them up. So it came with the authenticity card um, that just looks like this. It comes in like a little envelope and then it just has like the little booklet with some of the information. And then it comes with this flat sunglasses case. This is probably my favorite style of case out of all of the sunglasses I, I own because generally speaking, I prefer smaller bags and I don't like hard bulky cases i like that this is kind of like a soft case but still has like a bit of firmness to it because of the leather it just goes like this <laughs> and then it comes with like a sunglasses cleaner they're probably in everybody's <laughs> sunglasses collection and you're probably like why do you have these like i don't know but they're just such a good go-to and they're a pair of ray-ban wayfarers um i have the biggest version that they make which is i believe a 51 is it centimeter millimeter i'm not great at math i think it's 51 millimeters i just find these so easy to like throw on for day to day if i like i don't know i was gonna say i'm like if i go to the beach i'll wear these honestly i'll i'll bring any of these sunglasses to the beach i don't mind i take very good care of my sunglasses but i just like these for like running errands like throwing it on top of your head um they're just big enough to like fit my face because i have like a bigger head so i prefer usually oversized sunglasses like there's nothing bad i can say about these things i've had these oh my gosh have i had these for almost 10 years why I be sounding so old? I had these for maybe like six, seven years now. They've just been on like almost every trip I've been on. And my arms are actually like still pretty stiff. Like I'm not someone who like, you know, just like flings open their arms. Cause I just feel like you loosen the screws that way. You want to be careful like when you put on your sunglasses. And the fact that these can fit on top of my head real nice too. I, sunglasses are, ugh, they have to look good on top of my head. Like I will continue to mention that um, throughout this video, but the first sunglasses, the Lulu Heart ones, they're not over the head at all. They're way too small for that. I don't have like all the authenticity stuff. I didn't keep it for that, for these, um, but it just comes with like the classic Ray-Ban case um, and then the sunglasses cleaner. This next pair is like really fun. Bridging away from black, which is a majority of what I have. Iridescent pink sunglasses I believe there is uv protection i don't really be knowing about these but they're so cute like this was bought for aesthetic just like the lulu heart uh sunglasses these ones are by montclair and i love how big oversized and round um the lenses are on these these are the most comfortable sunglasses that i own in my collection they feel like a feather on your face like you, I forget I have them on at times um, and pink is my favorite color I just love this shade that they did and they um, did the little pink on the ends of the arms as well 
and oh, this is just this is such a look a lot of the times i will match these sunglasses with the bathing suits that i wear or just like any pink outfit i just you're so cute like really i love this authenticity card which is like with these authenticity cards you can like actually like go on a website and you can like scan this little barcode and make sure that it's real but like it's bought from the store so like it's authentic but if like you ever like buy like things secondhand um and they come with the authenticity card then that might help you this is the sunglasses case that it comes with um it's just this like hard case it's kind of bulky which is really annoying um and then the sunglasses cleaner okay so this next pair is my most recent purchase and okay i bought it not to replace my ray-bans but kind of like to be a more bougie pair than my ray-bans um and then they are these burberry i call them my hater blockers like i really don't have any haters but you know the people who just be disturbing your peace of mind sometimes <laughs> this will cancel them out i promise you i just find these really nice oversized oversized for my big head and it just has like the classic um well not the classic the new burberry logo like if you know you know um i just really like this on the side it kind of reminded me of the versace pair and i was really close to buying those classic versace um hater blockers that like biggie has but i just felt like it was too much of a look for me like it was too much i was like tineo that's not you i feel like this version is a little bit more me um i will say i wish the top and the bottom were slightly squared off a bit more rather than rounded because it kind of gives like a early 2000s look and i'm more of like 90s model right now in my in my head <laughs> like those are the looks that i'm going for um but it's okay i still think it's a really good everyday piece um when i want to switch it up for my ray-bans they sit so nice on top of my head like when i have like my hair like this or whatever it just it, it's a look like i wore them today and i was like um yeah that was me in the park came with the little booklet thing the authenticity is like at the bottom i don't love the case this huge hard case which i get it the harder the better um <sighs> like honestly <laughs> honestly honestly like i really only like hard cases like like this that are this big when i'm wearing like when i'm wearing like a big tote bag I usually will wear my like Balenciaga flat bag or whatever and it's just or even just a little shoulder bag and it's just not it it's not it and like my glasses still stay in good shape like with soft cases so the next pair that I have every blogger has it the Celine edge sunglasses these ones I will say I wish they were a little bit bigger I just feel like they would suit and frame my face a little bit better but I really like this with my hair slick back in a bun. Um, it just gives an edgy look, like the name says. Sharp points to give like a cat eye, you know, always elongate the face outwards, which is nice. I will say, I can almost go for any sunglass shape. I was learning about what sunglasses suit what face shapes, and generally speaking, if you have like a square head with like a lot of angles to it, you want to do like softer lenses like that are rounder if you have a, a rounder circular head then you want to do like more cat eye to help like bring some angles to your face but the thing is i feel like i have a a squoval a rectangle but it's like rounded so like a like a squoval an oval with points so i feel like i can almost go for both you know kind of fun obviously wear what you want to wear just in terms of like what generally suits people the best um but yeah um they're just really classic black plastic frames and then it says celine paris on the side on one of the arms and yeah really good go-to piece i really really like the soft case on this um very like it sits very flat in my bag and my sunglasses do not get disturbed i'm not sure if this is real suede and like leather on the inside but it probably is to be honest but yeah 
I like these and they're old Celine so I don't think these sunglasses are available anymore a lot of the times with designer brand sunglasses are seasonal styles so when you see something you like it's best to grab it um, unless they're like a classic like the Versace like hater blockers but you know you know next pair that I have is dun, 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 cat eye pair from Montclair I like this as well too I feel like you're probably like oh my gosh your sunglasses are kind of looking similar but no like they are not how am I gonna justify this the Celine edge ones because the frame is so thick it's such a bold look but I wanted a cat eye with a sleeker softer feel so the metal frame on this makes things a little bit more lightweight on the face you see what I'm saying like you need options sometimes you just don't need a heavy frame with certain outfits um, it just looks too bold so I like these um, because it has like the thick cat eye frame in the front but when you look to the side it's like the metal arms the logo on the side here these can fit on top of my head yes they can the Celine edge ones I can on some days some days it depends on how my hair is sometimes it can fit out of all of the sunglasses I have these go with the most outfits yeah 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 so like if I were to round them up these go with the most outfits these two are like throw on every day and then these two are like fun fashion sunglasses you know and then my edge ones are like we're a classic blogger girl, you know, trying to be trendy. See, like everything has their place. Um, so I also wear prescription glasses. I actually have really high astigmatism. And I'm like, probably when I explained that in my essence haul, it probably sounded so stupid because it's like, well, Tanil, why don't you wear contacts if you don't want to wear glasses? But my optometrist told me that my astigmatism is so strong that I shouldn't be wearing contact lenses which confused me and I was like okay so well I'm just stuck like <laughs> on the days I don't want to wear glasses it's funny because I don't I don't really understand how astigmatism works but personally I can see pretty well like it's just I can't see things that are really really far away um, is that nearsighted yes Tanil, because you can only look at things close up Obviously, if I'm like doing stuff like I'm on the computer all day, if I was driving, like I have to wear my glasses because on my license it says corrective lenses, like I'm not trying to get pulled over. So I really be talking a lot. Okay, all in all, I do wear glasses and I have a few eyeglasses to share with you. <laughs> Let's start off with the newest one, which I'm so excited about. Like <laughs> I had to repurchase these, but I finally have them. They are a pair of Chloe, kind of like Napoleon Dynamite-esque 70s readers. They're just a look and a half. I love the gold frame on them. A majority of the styles that look like this had a really oversized lens and I didn't want the oversized lens look. These are already a big lens, don't get me wrong, but usually they come like even bigger than that, almost like my Ray-Ban Wayfarers. But I like that these are kind of slightly halved, even though they're still really big. Brown tortoiseshell um, plastic detail on like the ends of the arms. And they actually come with the holes on the ends of the arms, so you can actually feed through like a gold glasses chain. I feel like I need, can't need to get them now because then they'll just hang from my neck and I'll just look like, I don't know, some like weird 70s librarian. But I just feel like these are so fun. They still have like the new lenses in them because I have to take them to fill my prescription. So fun. I'm so excited to wear them. Um, yeah, I need to do that like next week because I really, really want to wear these. They come with this hard case and even though it's hard and it's huge, um, uh, like... <laughs> I just like how pretty the color like the beige color is and it's like suede and like really cute I like these a lot and then it comes with like the authenticity card which just says whatever else it's authentic I think these are really fun and I can't wait to wear them I'm gonna look so cute oh my gosh and then they come with a beige 
glasses cleaner. The ones that I'm currently wearing right now are from Chanel. Brown tortoiseshell glasses. Like, I can't, is this style like a Wayfair feature? This gold braided arm, which goes into like, back into the brown plastic tortoiseshell. Um, yeah, I feel like these are cool, easy for like my day to day. And I just need to replace the lenses because I've been wearing them for maybe like five years now and I just feel like I need to update my lenses and the lenses are also scratched. It just comes like with a classic Chanel quilted stitch case. Oh and then what's also nice is Chanel eyewear comes with like a soft case as well too which looks like this. It's like a serious soft case like it's like a little pouch if anything um but yeah i usually use this uh, it's funny i take more care of my sunglasses rather than my eyewear i'm not sure why but it's still like intact because i actually did have like an older pair of chanel's um but i feel like i just wore them out like the arms just ended up giving they're actually these i wish i actually could find these again because i would repurchase them and they were just like plain black and then they had like the quilting on the side on the arms but yeah they look like this now <laughs> um i didn't step on them or anything or s maybe i sat on them i actually don't know what happened i do feel like after a while the arms just gave out because me opening and closing them for like so long and i think i wore these for like five years as well too so um like they had their run like they had a good run to replace those black quilted ones i actually had purchased this pair from Burberry um so they're just very plain simple like just an easy throw on one like for day to day like if I had to go like I don't know say to like wear them to work if I didn't want to wear those ones but I can't because I still have not filled the prescription so I need to take both of these new ones and like fill them so I have options because I feel like that Napoleon Dynamite one is a little bit too wild for work, like it's a little bit much. So I think I need to fill these so I have the option to wear these now. Yeah, these are like an older style. It just comes with like the authenticity thing. And then it also comes with the hard case. Yeah, and just like this glasses cleaner. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and it inspired you and maybe your sunglasses collection or whatever. And at first I was like, maybe I shouldn't do this now because summer's almost over, but you really should be wearing sunglasses year round because the snow gets very reflective. Make sure you watch these other videos that you may have missed and click my head to subscribe and follow me over on Instagram because we chit chatting it up. We having a good time. I actually like am someone who doesn't really like Instagram, but like now, the people that are there with me, like, it's fun, you know? We're having a great time talking about outfits and stuff. Click the bell so you know when I post new videos. And I love you so much. Take care.